Afternoon, everyone. I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me today. It is November 6, 2023, Monday, and it looks like it's currently maybe um, freezing rain going on there at Yellowstone. Yeah, they've been having an earthquake um, swarm there at or close to the Pitchstone Plateau, which is an area where uh, Yellowstone had one of its last eruptions only 70,000 years ago. I thought that was really interesting because of the location. There have been five earthquakes of a magnitude 2.0 or greater. Here you can see um, a 2.4, a 2.1, a 2.5. That makes three. Um, a 2.0, that makes four, and a 2.5, that was real shallow, 2.7 miles below sea level. Um, magma is rising. Yeah, we got magma, magma rising. I have three monitors that I downloaded the data from. We got Lake Butte, which is on the eastern side of Yellowstone Lake. West Thumb, which is by Grant, which on the, is on the west side of Yellowstone Lake, and the western boundary. Um, I just picked this one earthquake out at 1442. For some reason, the western boundary, um, the first 16 or the latest 16 hours, um, I'm not getting the data. See that? Nothing there. And I'll go up. I believe it's showing there, though. So you can see the lines of melt. Let me go to Google Earth and show you the location. This here is Lewis Lake. Most of the earthquakes are down at the uh, southern end of Lewis Lake. And then over here to the west, that is the Pitchstone Plateau, which was its last major eruption there at Yellowstone Lake. Um, the lava there is over 100 feet thick. Picture the area of Washington, D.C. That is how large it is and what it covers. It was a rhyolite explosion with pyroclastic flows. Um, the water content was really low at the start of the eruption, less than 4%. So I thought that was real interesting that it was so close to an area where the last eruption um, that they are talking about, there's been 40 eruptions since the last major eruption 350,000 years ago. And this one was only 70,000 year, years ago. USGS is reporting this earthquake. They're saying it's a magnitude uh, 2.5. You can see we got heated water and toxic gases that came up. I would say it's larger than a magnitude 2.5. Let's check this out. Um, shortly afterwards, let me carry it over. There were several smaller earthquakes. So they added those two small earthquakes in with this. Uh, you should be able to tell what this is right away without me making it larger. This is volcanic tremors. Look at that. Let me look at the beginning of it. We'll just pull all that. Yep, volcanic tremors. Magma rising up in the system. Yep, a magnitude 2.5. I'll bring it down. So those of you that have larger... Uh, okay, it went small on me. Let me do this again. Okay, had to redo my little marks. Anyways, yeah, there's those two quakes right there. Uh, yeah, it went small on me again. <laughs> I hate that. Okay, there they are. And then there was two more small quakes afterwards. See that right there? I wonder if I have to make that bigger for you. There you go. Yeah. Okay, so we got the cracking, the movement of the crust, plus volcanic tremors for that. And volcanic tremors there, plus um, fault movement. Yeah, it's rising up. Then we got another little one right here. It 1445 they're not reporting that one they are reporting one about a minute later 
at 14.46. Let's see. This one comes in as a magnitude 1.98. Okay, then this one here. Uh, let's see. That would be a magnitude 1.72. The next one would be a 1.48. And we'll come over here. This one would be a magnitude 1.47. They're not reporting a lot of these. Okay. Um, that one there would be a 1.59. I don't know if it's going to go small on me or not. Yeah, it went small. Okay. Where am I at? I'm right there. Okay. It's still going to go small. Anyways, then we got this one. Let's see, at 1447. That one too, they're not reporting. I'll make it real short. It comes in as a magnitude 2.17. So that would be six earthquakes of a magnitude 2 or greater. They did report one at uh, 1446 as a 2.1. So they probably added them all together. The next one they reported was a 2.4. At 1449 so it might be that one yep that one right there okay and we'll put it there and we'll put it there right before the other earthquake that came in afterwards um, that comes in I get a magnitude 2.21 I wonder if they added in this other earthquake that came in afterwards Let's see what the seismic signature. See, it keeps going a little on me. There we go. Yeah, they should not have added that in, but I bet you they did. Okay, we'll go back. Um, well, I get a 2.17. Or as high as a magnitude 2.36. Unless they put the seismic signature even longer let me go back here okay let's go over unless they added that little bit in then yeah then i get a 2.51 that's what they did they added in several smaller tremors yeah before all this started happening let me pull this up yeah you can see we got popping of the rock if i can get the right line there we go Okay, let me go here. I'm off the line. Yeah, we got popping that was going on as the uh, magma was coming into the system. Yep. Yeah. Look at the heat. Boom, boom. That popped twice. Boom, boom, boom. That popped um, three small times. That one there popped twice. Where am I at? Okay, let's bring this over. Lots of popping. Okay. Trying to keep it on the line. Look at the heat that came up with that when it popped. And you can see them all marked in red, I hope. Yeah, I'll bring it over some more. There's another one. And then we got, yeah, the heated water was coming up. And then it popped again. Let's look at the seismic signature. Oh, there's two there. Okay. All right, and yeah, you know, a lot of activity there. Yeah, wouldn't surprise me if it decided to erupt again in that location. They really don't know. They just got the signatures to go by. Yeah, and then there's a whole bunch over here. Let me pull this over for you. Yeah, I'm off the line. There you go. See, there's one there. Boom, boom, boom. You almost can see how the fault opened up, how it flowed. Let's see. I'll bring it over to this one. And there was a gusher there. Look at that. And then, wow, yep. Yeah, oh, went off the line. There we go. Yeah. So I want to take a look. Ah, it's not showing. There we go. This is Lake Butte. This is on the uh, eastern side of Yellowstone Lake. Yeah, look at the line of melt. 
and that was a slow moving tremor yep and let's go all the way down here for when I pulled the files just a little while ago let me close that and take a look at all this stuff yep yep see it was registering the magma movement all the way over there to the north to Yellowstone Lake yeah yeah let me go back to Google Earth all right this is um, the western side of Yellowstone Lake um, West Thumb over here is Lake Butte that's the monitor and then way over here yeah that's where the earthquake swarms going on so we got magma coming up how many miles is that maybe about tw almost 24 miles yeah okay so it was registering and it's affecting Yellowstone Lake all the way over on the side of Yellowstone Lake then if I come up you can see this popping too that was going on here it was picking that up too yeah the popping of the ground see that pop and pop that must have been some pop shows you the power that it's got yeah yeah but it only registered over here as a you know probably a vibration whatever at Yellowstone Lake but yeah it was strong enough and loud enough of a pop yeah to pick it up there on the eastern side of Yellowstone Lake and then let's go here to when I pulled the files okay and then when I ended with the files let's see that'd be right there you have the line of melt all right going back to the western boundary this is what it was yes this is the one the monitor that isn't showing the data until oh there's an earthquake there I'll come down but you can see how close the lines of melt um, think of a sponge with holes in it you know where it absorbs the water and the soap when you're washing your dishes yeah you can see the line of melt how it was increasing and I don't know why it stopped recording let's see where is it where it stopped recording I tried twice to download the data but when that one line of melt started getting more prominent that's when it stopped working right there yeah at 1359 Universal Time so that would have been 639 a.m. today there at the park or um, or 759 um, Central Daylight Time yeah I don't have all this data it's all missing all right let's go up because that is working okay yeah look at all the popping that was going on earlier same thing it was picking it all up yep oh we got screaming here wow we got some screaming right there yeah where it got so loud came in so fast that the equipment would not pick it up where was that i don't know yeah i didn't take note where it was at was this it mm. no i lost my spot yeah I don't know let's go to the spectrogram I'll just pull it across here there's some more pop and see that look at the heat that came up again this is the western boundary yeah I'll show oh, there oops I just found it <laughs> there it is okay let me show you where the western boundary is at that would be by the western entrance let's see let me bring it out up over here right up over here in this area yeah that's the western boundary so again it was picking it up yeah and this is the Madison River area when it did its unzipping with multiple eruptions during the last major eruptions it's tried to do the unzipping in past eruptions um, but it did a counterclockwise unzipping started up over here in the Madison River area and pop 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 until it got down here and to this area by Heart Lake 
where we got the Peach Stone Plateau. Let's see, Heart Lake is where? Is that it? No, no. Yeah, right there. That's Heart Lake. It got down to there with its unzipping, and then that's when the two resurgent domes collapsed at the same time, and they had their big boom. The Sour Creek Resurgent Dome, and then the Mallard Lake Resurgent Dome. Um, the Mallard Lake Resurgent Dome is what we see from the Old Faithful live webcam. See how it's, if you look at it from this view, yeah, it's really dramatic how much it's popped up. So that's the one, Mallard Creek by Old Faithful. And then the other one is up over here in this location. I don't think I have it marked anymore. I'm going to have to fix that too. Yeah, I used to have it both marked here on the map until um, several months ago. Google Earth reset itself and I had to put all my data back in. But it's in this area here. Yeah, I'm going to have to put it back in. All right, right in there. I'm going to have to get the exact coordinates, but it's right in there. And as you know, the area from Sour Creek down to Old Faithful. I'm trying to look for that little pin. Um, that whole area, that whole mountain range there has uplifted. I'm not surprised when I moved the camera. This is the Mallard, or yeah, the Mallard Lake Resurgent Dome. I'm not surprised, I wish I could draw a line right through here, um, that we had a swarm like that going on, seeing how we are having um, the impact from the sun, from the CMEs that erupted off the sun. And I told you guys how, um, you yeah, know, when we're being impacted by the uh, geomagnetic storms, they will cause earthquakes and volcanic eruptions and, yeah, even affects people's health. So, yeah, that's all I have for you right now. Yeah, more things to watch. Keep an eye on it. Once in a while you see a little snowflake or freezing ice that goes by the camera. Looks like it's slowing down. Thank you very much for your support. Thank you for the cups of coffee. And thank you for joining me on Patreon and a whole bunch of you joined me on Rumble. Yeah, God bless you guys. Because on Rumble, I can put things there that YouTube will not allow. And I did post um, a news update there, both on Patreon and Rumble. Um, the last three times that I did a news roundup update, YouTube flagged it, said it was inappropriate. I'm sorry, the whole world, the, the events in the world are inappropriate, aren't they? Um, I only report what is happening. So I did do that today. It, it is on Rumble, and it's also on my Patreon account. So always be prepared for a disaster. Um, please stay safe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye.